he has hundreds. Live look outside, wonderful day here in the Valley to get outdoors, a lot of you thinking about golf. Suzanne Morgan joins me this morning. Cordier Club, uh, this is golf season. I mean, this is like prime time. Absolutely, and speaking of prime time, we are right in the middle of our men's member guest tournament, Desperado. What is this? I'm not a big golfer. I do like to go out, cruise around, have a few <laughs> beers, play. Um, you do a variety of different tor tournaments. What differentiates this from other ones? This is our largest event of the year. It's a four-day men's member guest. Um, we're sold out this year, which is 168 teams. Wow. It's awesome because not only can Cordillera handle that capacity so that the majority of our members who want to play can, but it's so nice having three and a half courses that span 7,000 acres that if you're not in the tournament, you have another option to play golf during this so, time. So are they playing throughout the entire, I mean, is it still open to the public, I should say, or your courtier? I know it is a private club, but uh, can other people play there right now? Is it specific for this tournament? So that's the nice thing. Yes, if you're a member of Cordillera, but you're not participating in the tournament, like the ladies of Cordillera, mm -hmm. <laughs> they can play the this course. This is a dudes only thing? <laughs> it's a dudes why? only. Let me, let me, Desperado. Uh, this one's, uh, <laughs> why do guys do that? I, why, I, I don't understand the He-Man men's thing sometimes. I like having ladies around. Well, yes, they I do. I think they like mix it. I don't want to go where it's just guys. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, like at a hot tub. I'm like, hey, look at all the dudes here. Let me dive in. It's always nice to have like the token female there. Break right. it up a little bit. And Saturday night is our closing hoedown for Desperado okay. and the ladies come to that. You so. shouldn't call it a hoedown. It, if, it if is. That's one they show up. Um, well, that sounds like an exciting one. There's three courses yeah. there. There is the Summit course, which I saw for the first time when I came out there. Mountain That's course, right. yep. valley course, and then wait, there's four actually, right? And then there's our Dave Pell short course, short and he's course. there. He does instructional programs, and um, so today we're kicking off the Desperado at the Mountain and the Valley course. This is our mountain course. This place is insane. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, there's awesome fishing up there. Fly fishing right there with Mark Sassy. Just one of several of our social activities, which is participates in our year-round calendar. Our restaurant here, the Timber Hearth, is open year-round. Summertime, you can just sit outside on the patio. During the winter, we have sleigh rides and snowshoeing, so really something for everyone year-round. I appreciate you having us up there a couple weeks ago. I know we've talked a lot about it. I had not been up to the summit course before, and I hadn't been up to the mountain area um, in years. It was a really nice reminder to go up there. It is such a beautiful place, and you have a variety of different memberships that are, are available. Yeah, absolutely, and what's so nice is once you get off the I-70 corridor and you head south on Squaw Creek, you really get out of that mm -hmm. traffic, and you're just in the scenic, private area and it's so quiet it's really like you're so far away but you're just in Edwards which I, is great I felt like Clark Griswold from uh <laughs> from uh, it's like Christmas vacation yeah, or, yeah. Or, like, cue the, or where he's trying to sell his house cue the deer we were up right. at the top of the mountain all of a sudden you know in the backdrop here comes this massive buck walking by I mean it's magnificent uh yeah. contact information website well they can come by any clubhouse and find me or they can call 970-569-6418 come up and be a member for the day yeah we would love that we encourage it I'd kind of be like I'd be like cousin Eddie up there you know <laughs> we'd help you get the RV parked in there <laughs> great to have you stop by good Thanks. to see you Suzanne stay with us as Good Morning Vale continues you ever been lost in the woods you're always looking out for Vale Mountain Rescue Group they're going to be joining us then we'll have more weather and mountain reports from Mark up on the mountain stay with us